Hello and welcome to Cloud Accepted channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can encrypt objects in S3 using customer provided keys CSEC. So client side encryption with customer provided keys CSEC. The encryption process is as follows. Using an AWS SDK such as a Java client, it will randomly generate a plain text data key which is used to encrypt the object data. The customer provided CMK is then used to encrypt this client generated data key. The encrypted object data and encrypted data key are then sent to S3. S3 will store then store the encrypted object data and associate the encrypted data key as metadata of the encrypted object data. Okay. So the decryption process is as follows. The request is made by the client to S3 to retrieve the object data. S3 sends both the encrypted object and the encrypted data key back to the client. The customer provided CMK is then used to decrypt the encrypted data key. The plain text data key is then used to decrypt the object data. You should now have a deeper understanding of the process of encryption and decryption for each of the encryption methods that S3 offers. It is a simple process to apply encryption, but understanding what's happening behind the scenes is essential from security standpoint, especially when you are responsible for maintaining the integrity of the data stored in S3. Many of us have been uh, have seen and heard the news whereby large international organizations have failed to apply either the correct level of permissions or indeed an encryption mechanism to the customer data which has been accidentally exposed, causing a detrimental effect to all organizations involved. So, okay, let's do a hands-on demo and uh, follow me along. I'll be logging into my AWS console and uh, walk you through the process. All right, I am logged into my AWS management console. I have been navigating to S3 service. And I'll be choosing the bucket uh, demo 3105. I'll make sure that, uh, you know, the encryption, default encryption is disabled. That's it. Since we are using client side encryption, make sure default encryption is disabled. Secondly, we'll, we are going to check the permissions, right? So permissions, the bucket policy is not there. See, the reason why I'm checking the bucket policy is because, you know, sometimes there is a restriction for put object, so our demo might get failed. Yeah, everything looks good. We don't have any objects over here. So let me navigate to my Eclipse. All right, I'll clear out the console. So here I have made a new class. SSE C example, okay, CSE, it should be CSE C. Let me just rename the file. All right. All right, so, well, let me just walk you through this class. So, as you can see, right, this is a, encrypt method that I have created and a decrypt method. All right, so basically what we are doing is we are generating a key over here. Okay, AES key. Uh, we are generating a key over here. Okay, generate key using generate key method. So here we will have the secret. Okay. Now, this is my object key, which is the file name and this is my content of the plain text content. Okay, the content of the text file. Okay. So this secret key we are passing with the encryption, uh, this Amazon V2 encryption class. Okay. So what it will do is, it's gonna pass this key object as a metadata, okay, to your object data. And of course it's gonna encrypt it at client side and it's gonna associate this metadata to, uh, like with the, with S3. Okay, so here we have the put object, so it's gonna, uh, you know, save this object to S3. Here also, like in the same method, we are calling the decrypt one. 
so this decrypt will decrypt the object okay but we are passing the same key okay so remember uh, to store this key somewhere if you lose this key it will be difficult to get the data okay so of course you can get the key uh, data from the metadata but if you don't have the access to that particular s3 bucket then it's going to be very difficult okay so using this decrypt method we are doing the same things like of course the key that we are using we are not generating a key over here we are going to pass the same key okay and we are reading the text data that is decrypted yes okay so here in system dot out we are printing it all right so let's run this uh, class and remember guys uh, when you are configuring you need to uh, install let me just show you so using install new software you need to use this url amazon.com aws.amazon.com slash eclipse so you gotta install this first one core management tools which has this i think the categories are not uh, showing because it's installed but you know you you will have to install the full structure okay for core management tools so remember before configuring this uh this into eclipse okay so your class won't run unless and until you have this thing installed apart from that in pom.xml remember to use this bounty castle dependency if you don't have this then it will show some dependency related error so i'll uh, publish this class to github okay so from there you can download it and i'm gonna put the url into the comment section of this video okay all right so let's run this class now click on run as java application It may take a while. All right, so the execution is completed. Here you will see this data. Okay, that is the decrypted content. All right, so now let's uh, navigate to our AWS bucket s3 bucket so as you can see over here this is the encrypted content okay let me try to open this in the notepad and show you the content all right so this is my encrypted content using AES. so now let's look at the metadata and uh, let's see if we can find the key over there all right so as you can see right this is the key that is generated it's in the metadata i think this is the key so yeah that's the that's how you can you know encrypt and decrypt using client side encryption using your own keys so this is our own key that is getting generated over here and to decrypt the object we are passing the same key right so uh, that's it for this demo i'll uh, upload this slide in slide share and uh, eclipse code will be published to github i'll paste both the links in the comment section so from there you can download the code and refer so do like and subscribe my channel do let me know if you found this video if you have any questions put down in the comment section thanks for watching this video have a great day bye bye